In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how you can apply center piercing to the holes of a drawing in CAM. When you first convert your drawing to CAM, you will notice that the initial toolpath has the fab head drawing circle shapes for the hole cutouts. Instead, we use center piercing to drill directly into the hole's center. Locate the center piercing icon in the top toolbar. In the parameters panel, you can set a minimum and or maximum radius limit that specifies which holes the piercing feature will be applied to. After you check it in, notice that the change in the toolpath indicates which holes will now be pierced. Now find the plasma settings icon in the top toolbar where you can further specify the parameters for piercing. Specify your plasma torch nozzle with the following options. Note, however, that the following parameters will be automatically adjusted when the nozzle is specified. However, you can also input them manually. For the plasma gas setting, you have an option of air or F5. For the quality level, toggle whether the toolpath will be optimized for best quality or fastest cutting. You can click the lookup slash reset to default button to return any changed fields to values from the cut charts. Here, specify the default feed rate at which the machine will move while cutting. Input the width of the kerf of the plasma torch here. This will determine the thickness of the cut and the toolpath will change to reflect the new size. The toolpath is automatically offset outside by one half the kerf width for parts and automatically offset inside by one half the kerf width for cutouts. Pierce height specifies the height at which the torch will initially pierce before cutting along the toolpath. If your machine is set to do a touch off at the beginning of each cut, then the pierce height is relative to the last touch off location. Cut height specifies the height at which the torch will cut the part along its path. If your machine is set to do a touch off at the beginning of each cut, then the pierce height is relative to the last touch off location. Pierce delay specifies the time between the command for the torch to fire and the motion of the machine. The delay allows the torch time to pierce completely through the material prior to any other machine motion. This is the target voltage for the THC system in order to maintain a specified cut height. The set point value is determined by the cut chart for each plasma torch and can also be found in the operator's manual of the plasma torch. It is dependent on the material type, thickness, torch settings, and other parameters. When sampling is enabled, the system will automatically detect this voltage and track it throughout the cut. The higher the voltage, the higher the torch will cut. Lower the set point to bring the torch closer to the material during cut moves. Amperage specifies the operating amperage of the torch. Pressure specifies the air pressure of the torch in pounds per square inch. Edge start, when checked, indicates that the cut will start at the edge of the workpiece. This can be an optimal choice when you're working with certain thick materials. Here, toggle whether the corners on the toolpath will be sharp or rounded. Different types of corners will result in more precise cuts depending on the qualities of the fab head and the material. Changes to the corner settings may take a short time to render in the toolpath. The remaining parameters relate to Smart360, so if you want to learn more about this feature, check out our tutorial on it. Once you are satisfied with the plasma settings, send your drawing to CNC and you're ready for cutting.